Do you need content that inspires you? <laughs> Stories you could relate to? Or talent that is simply too dope to describe? Welcome to Fahrenheit TV. Fahrenheit TV. Fahrenheit TV is a live monthly variety show that showcases people's greatness through narratives and artistic expression. We're back this summer to bring you more live, sizzling talk and entertainment to uplift your soul. Tune into our live episodes here on BNN TV or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to follow us on social media to keep up with all our latest news. We hope that you'll tune in. I hope that you are feeling encouraged, empowered, and just like feeling like you could do whatever you want this year. Thank you so much again for, to Dr. Alana DeGarza for sharing all her wisdom with us. We have another extraordinary guest on the couch today with us that I am so humbled to have here on the stage. This queen, she is just so gorgeous. She has so much talent. And I met her actually doing a modeling gig and it's so funny because I remember telling her like, man, you have so much talent. It would be so great to have you on the show. And the universe was like, I got you. So welcome Welcome to the stage, Sophia Leslie. Thank you so much, Queen, for coming Thank on the you show. For me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you here because, like, you all the things that you're doing, like, you are an artist to the core. Like, you do uh, everything. You. <laughs> not only do you do modeling, not only do you perform, but you're just like a visual, like, just queen icon, icon, an icon living. Uh, so, can you tell us a little bit about <laughs> about how you know how? Tell us a little bit about yourself, like where are you from, how you, you know, how you got started and in, in doing like um, art full time and everything. Cool. Yes. Well, I'm from New York, but the slight accent's from Trinidad. My mom is from Trinidad, my dad's from Jamaica. Nice. And so like I've Pretty always, queen. yeah, I've always been around music, every mm -hmm. type of music you could think of. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have another dad who's American, so I'm like surrounded by funk, jazz, oh, wow. reggae, dance yeah. hall, everything. soca, yeah, he's like a melting pot of everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like New York, melting pot. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, and I grew up and I went to a performing arts school. I went to a professional performing arts school. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the school. Yeah. This is the, <laughs> okay, okay. The name of the it's school, the same PPS. school that Alicia Keys went same to. Same school as Alicia Keys, mm -hmm. Britney Spears, we don't claim her like that. So, but she went there. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jake and Joss, all those people. Wow, that's so, incredible. Yeah, yeah. So, we claim it's been, it's, you know, that's what we do. And so, then, you've always wanted to like perform and do the arts. Is there like an artist that you looked up to? I know this could be so many because you have so <laughs> many like different genres that you, you, you know, you love. Yeah, so we have like, of course, you got Michael, you got Bob Marley, mm -hmm. Justin oh, exactly, Peace, you got exactly. James Brown, you got yes. Celia Cruz. Uh, I just so much. Wow, I literally everyone. everyone. That's like every genre that you said: Latin, yeah. um, funk, pop, like everything. <laughs> I love yeah. every type of music, and yeah. I just grew up around that. So. Mm -hmm. You know, when you've been surrounded and you're fed something so much, you just become. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? And you're already Caribbean, so that music is already within your I DNA. I feel it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So <laughs> what, what made you come to Boston to go to Berkeley College of Arts? So funny story. <laughs> Berkeley, not, I shouldn't say Berkeley. Boston yeah. was not the plan for college. Okay. Uh, everywhere else I applied to was in hot places. Yes. So we're talking California, <laughs> talking Miami. I even went to Aww. Australia and Hawaii to apply for schools. Yes. Berkeley was the only school up north. Yeah. It was like your safety school, but like, yeah, but I get Berkeley's it. Berkeley, yeah, man. Yeah. So it was a done deal once yeah, I got Berkeley in. Berkeley is such an awesome place I could imagine to go to school to because I mean, there's so many talented students. It's I amazing. love going to the jazz fest that they do every time. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to say, even though <laughs> it's not as hot, especially right now because we're yeah. in the wintertime, you still bring that sunshine with you. Cause I look try, that flower man. In my head. I try. Girl. You got to pretend it's warm even yeah. though it's not warm. It's. <laughs> It's cold outside. In yeah. New York, we say it's brick because yeah, you yeah. feel like you get hit. Yeah, you know? no, it's a little disrespectful outside. It's right real now. disrespectful, <laughs> yeah. But you are, you bring the heat on stage, which I think is really, really ama <laughs> amazing. So, what made you want to like? You know, I know you said you've been around music your whole life. Mm -hmm. but what made you want to be on stage and actually perform? Because I know you also have a jazz mm -hmm. background. Yeah, so pretty much like I love how music affects people, and mm -hmm. I love like the. What's the word for it? Like the way music, you know, could tell your story, oh, even yeah. though it's not your, your story. story, you yeah, know, yeah. that you could hear a song and you could be like, I relate to that. That's mm -hmm. me. Yeah. And so pretty much like I love that thing yeah, yeah. about music mm -hmm. and I love music that makes you dance. I love music 
that makes you relax. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm more on the relaxed side yeah, of things. Yeah, more chill <laughs> More stuff. chill. Yeah. That's just my personality, mm -hmm. but you best believe you put some funk oh, on girl, or something. Oh, girl, I see you at, at Carnival. <laughs> you say no more. Yeah, yeah, so I just love that therapeutic aspect of music. So, And mm -hmm. I feel like with music, I could help people and I could, you know, relate to people and, you know, you never know what anybody's going through. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. with music, I'm able to communicate my story and try and be like, you're not alone, you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a universal language. So, I mean, to have the power to even make, you know, art like that, that, that could, you know, talk to anybody around yeah. the world, that's an amazing gift. Yeah. So, and I can't <laughs> wait, because you're going to perform some of that for us later. Yeah. But before we get into that, I know you have an event coming up at <laughs> Berkeley College of Music on the 31st called Rise. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about this, um, this event and how we can get you know get involved so this is a very special event for all the Caribbean students at Berkeley mm -hmm. because we are finally being represented the English speaking Caribbean the French speaking Caribbean is finally nice. being represented at Berkeley and this is something we fought for so mm -hmm. since I've been a freshman I'm in my senior year now so we we got it the last year yeah. this is this is it so we're gonna be doing um, soca, compa, we mm. got um, Ghetto People Band, which is a local reggae band who's very prominent in the area. Wow. But I, it's special for me because Rhythm Symphony, which is another band that I'm a part of, mm -hmm. um, we just, yeah, yeah, we're just, you know, we're making it work and we're trying to spread soca and our culture. Yeah. And yeah. This is an amazing thing that you guys are doing, and it's, even though it took four years to get it, I mean, you're gonna build, you're building a legacy for other future students to have something that they feel like they could relate to, that someone's telling their story. Exactly. So you guys are gonna be rising up over there. Yeah, yeah. And it's amazing because it all started. We were um, pretty much we started the Students of Caribbean Ancestry um, Club at Berkeley, first mm -hmm. time ever this year. Wow. And I'm a stu I'm the president of the club, so I fought for this. Me yes. and a couple of our peers fought for this so that the next generation won't have to fight for this you yeah. know that it would be like you want to do a Caribbean show at the BPC mm -hmm. we got it so this, this is, is awesome. you're gonna see a lot of Caribbean stuff you're gonna see some costumes you're gonna see carnival yes. you're gonna see Creole some compa yes PT. it's beautiful we're gonna have a good time you're gonna see old reggae wow. old calypso some dance calypso. Hall. we're going yeah. in we're going we're trying wow. to represent the Caribbean the best that we can so. oh and you know what I'm so happy that you guys are doing it in January because that's not normally when you hear about this normally you hear about mm -hmm. more like carnival Caribbean stuff like in the summer when yeah. it's hot so like you said even though it's cold outside we are bringing the heat to you. The they heat. are bringing the heat. So how do we get involved? Like, how do we get tickets? Do we have to be a student to attend? How do we get involved? You do not have to be a student to attend. You could get, if you go at berkeley.com, edu mm -hmm. if you go to berkeley performance center you could get tickets on that way or you could go to the berkeley performance center the day of and get tickets as well they're five dollars in advance and then ten dollars day of the show mm -hmm. and if you're a berkeley student then you get free tickets before the show wow so i yeah. hope you guys all heard that <laughs> i gotta be there because i gotta be dancing i gotta you know be with my haitian people all of my caribbean people passe. Passe, everybody <laughs> so i'm excited for that so yes. again where do you find out more information about tickets so if you follow rhythm symphony mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm gonna do this real quick yep if you follow rhythm symphony on facebook or instagram you can find us there if you go to sophia if you follow my name mm -hmm. on facebook i have the tickets up on my Facebook page as well. Okay. So both pages will have the information. Well, thank you so much for sharing that event <laughs> with us. We can't wait to attend. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone got all the information. And I wanted to ask you a few questions before you hit the stage. Okay. So <laughs> um, if you could perform with any artist, living or an ancestor, who would it be and why? Mm -hmm. Can I say both? Yeah, you can say both. Okay, living. I told my mom, Aww. there's a reggae artist called Chronix. Yes. If I could just be on stage with him, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah. I'm just fine look pretty, with that. just like chill. I, like. Even if I could be a sound guy behind, yeah. I'm good with that. Like, yeah. Chronix, because he's just, he's what reggae music needs to be, and he's one of the reggae artists doing good things, so I support yes. him. Yes. I'm all about, you know, reaching out to the community and all that. And he course. does that regularly, so I respect him like oh, that. And his music awesome. has a like a message and yeah. I love that. Nice, nice. So that's him and mm -hmm. then who passed. Yeah. Can I say two? You can say yeah. You can Bob say two. Marley man. Oh man. But then I also got that Celia Cruz in me. So oh, that Celia Cruz goodness. 
because they both were international stars. So yeah. like, if you could have both of those icons, I mean, like, you could do a little kumbara kumbara and then do a could you be love? Like, I'm there with you to be like a right. supporter in the back because I feel like I know the songs. I'm like, yeah, Sophia, get yes. it. Oh the my Afro gosh. Latina in me, if I could do kukala kukala, oh you're like, you know, God, la nega ten and tumbao. Like, yeah. if I could just be on stage yes. with her, I'm set. Okay. But Bob Marley. Man, I could just be there with him. Oh, <laughs> that would just be iconic. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's awesome. So you're about to hit the stage. Mm -hmm. Can you give us any like little tips? You have like you know like one minute before you hit the stage. Anything that we could look forward to? What you're gonna be singing or like what inspired you? All right. So um, the song that I'll be singing is called Babylon Things. And if you know anything about Rastafarianism and stuff like that, is that like Babylon is the phrase that we use to say you know against the oppressive. Mm -hmm. that you know black people are being oppressed so mm -hmm. you, my song is basically like we must do away with the things that oppress us we must you know set fire to those oppressive yeah, we things. must rise we must rise yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> we must rise mm -hmm. yeah that's so awesome. that's what the song dream about. bigger and, and do things that we want to do there we go yes, yes. awesome <laughs> well thank you guys so much again for tuning in to this episode with our amazing guests stay tuned because sophia and her amazing group of talented artists are going to hit the stage to perform Right here on BNN, we're coming back to you soon after these short PSAs. See on page four that the projections need to be flood. Next Thursday? Seriously? Thursday? Can't do that. Uh-uh. This is really inconvenient. I have yoga that day. I have no time for this. So, I can't do Thursday, but I can do Friday. Disasters don't plan ahead. You can. Talk to your loved ones about how you're going to be ready in an emergency. Don't wait. Communicate. Fahrenheit TV. So I set 
the fire, 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 Babylon thing. We must stop the corrupt mentality that all we need is some money, Ali. We can be about fame and greed, so we must keep our mindsets clean. All of you incredible artists, so much for joining us on the stage. Can you tell us, can you introduce to us your yes. everyone else on stage? All right, we're going to do ladies first. Yes. So this is Amber Irene on double bass. Amber. We got Natalia Alva on guitar. Yes, Natalia. We got Evad Campbell on keys. And we have Benjamin Flanuel on saxophone. Can we give a round of applause yes. to all of them? Thank you so much. So all of you guys go to Berkeley, right? Yes. Awesome. So how is it, you know, being in school and performing? I feel like that's a lot to like handle all together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we, I mean, if we're trying to do this for the rest of our lives, mm -hmm. it's just a piece of cake eventually, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> we're like a family. So. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. So will you all be at the Rise um, event? No, half of us, actually yeah. only one of us won't be, so he'll be in the audience, but okay. these two will be on stage, yes. she will be on dancing. stage as well, mm -hmm. she's going to be dancing with me, so it's yes. going to be, so you're going to see her moves. Oh, it's going to be gonna epic. Be nice. I love all the yellow and the flowers, you know, she's so beautiful, so <laughs> empowering. Yes, thank that's you. beautiful. Well, thank you again so much for coming on stage. How do we stay involved and connected with you, Sophia? So, it's three ways. <laughs> All right, Facebook, these are two ways. If you look up S A F I Y A, mm -hmm. that's the Facebook page. For Rhythm Symphony, Rhythm Symphony, so R I D D I M, mm -hmm. Symphony on Facebook, and then as well on IG. If you want to keep the hot temperature rising, yes, yes. my IG page is hot, H O T T E M P 97, because that's the year I was born, so yes. hot temp 97. Right? Yes. And then on Instagram as well for Rhythm Symphony, that is our name. That's okay. awesome. Well, you brought the heat on stage. All <laughs> of you brought the heat. It was just amazing. I love the song. I really do. I was just gigging back there, taking pictures and stuff. That was <laughs> awesome. You. Well, thank you guys so much again for tuning into another episode of Fahrenheit TV. We'll be back next month on February 21st. But I hope that you got some great wisdom from both our guests, Dr. Alana De Garza and Sophia Leslie, and these incredible artists who are living their best lives, putting their talents out into the community, and just, you know, doing it. So dream bigger this year and stay Stay tuned. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Fahrenheit TV. Fahrenheit TV.